Ethiopia, a country that has produced more than its fair share of world-class long-distance runners, but perhaps the best of them all is Haile Gabrielassie. Not only has he twice won gold at the Olympics, he's also broken 26 world records. But for now, Haile's attentions are turning elsewhere. He's helping the champions of the future. As global ambassador for G4S14, he's helping to inspire 14 youngsters from around the world to help them achieve their vision of competing in 2012 London Olympics. One of them is Pauline Korokwang, a long distance runner from Kenya. This is my first time to visit the Addis and I'm happy for the people of this country. They are good people. I think it is a privilege to me because uh, not all uh, athletes can have a privilege like me to train where Hailes have uh, won several races like here in Addis. This is his uh, studio. Well, I'm here on Entoto Mountain. 3,000 metres above sea level. It's the area where Haile Gabri Selassie trains and obviously you've been out training this morning. Just tell me about why you think it's so important G4S are backing up and coming athletes like this. Well, one thing, you know, just uh, I want, I mean, I want to tell you, my, during my, I mean, like uh, beginning of my career, I had you no know, chance, you know, just to support like the G4S, what's, what the G4S is doing. You see, this people, I mean, these athletes, they have a talent. They are very good, but they have no chance, you know, just to show up, you know, just their uh, talent. What is to give them as an opportunity? This is really important to to show their uh, ability, their, you know, just potential, you know, their uh, uh, gift. And that's why I am very pleased, you know, just to see such kind of uh, support. So what next for Pauline? Well, she's already getting the chance to hone her skills for the best in the world, but she won't stop there. Uh, my future dreams is to, is to, to qualify for the Olympic in 2012 in London and also to try to win a gold medals. And I'm trying to also to break a world record of 5,000 metres. Yeah. Do you think it'll be hard to do that? It is not hard because I'm seeing the training that I'm training now. It is uh, just I'm um, focusing to break that uh, world record. Although it is hard to break, but I'm seeing I'm uh, near to break it.